Emerson Manangagwa, the current president of Zimbabwe, has announced that they're going to start using a gold-backed currency. And of course, a lot of people are now running around saying, oh, see, look, this is proof that, that a gold-backed currency is the thing that fights the system and like the bankers and all other kinds of lofty notions. Except that's really not the case here. What's important to keep in mind here is not just what the currency is, but what the currency is intended to do. It's important to keep in mind that gold currencies were eliminated for a reason. And it, they were not eliminated for the conspiracy theory reason that you have in your mind. The fact is, they can cause more problems than they solve. For example, inflation still does happen under a metallic currency. Even a straight up gold currency in the United States, there was still inflation. It doesn't stop that from happening. That is actually something you could research and is beyond the, beyond the scope of this video. Okay, for example, it being too inflexible. For example, for the United States, it could never go back to a gold standard. It just would, it would not be possible. Not only is there not enough gold in the world that could back up every dollar in the United States, the dollar in the United States system, it can't move fast enough. It is, it's too inflexible, etc. So with that being said, and all the terrible flaws of a gold currency, why is Zimbabwe doing it? One of the arguments is made is, look, that's why Gaddafi was killed, because he tried to make a gold-backed currency. No. Gaddafi was killed because he tried to make an independent African currency outside of the control of the United States. If he had attempted to do so with fiat currency, he would still be dead. What was significant there was not the gold but not the form, the function. The function was to create a currency outside the control of the United States and its control over the international financial system. Now, the reason Zimbabwe is creating a gold currency is because, well, number one, their currency is effectively useless. Due to a very long period of inflation, mostly caused by sabotage of its economy. And yes, it is. When you have a functional economy and then you have a change in government and then all the previous colonial owners of it or imperialist owners of it suddenly pull everything out of it and your economy contracts instantly, 80%, basically overnight. Yes, that would cause hyperinflation. Now you can... I'd say since then, there's been some level of mismanagement and inability to rebuild an economy, etc. I would say their main failure has been continuous interference by the, the Anglosphere, the first world, etc. When Zimbabwe comes up with a plan to deal with something, they will turn around and then put restrictions on a thing that would ruin that plan. So essentially, the main point here is that the Zimbabwe currency is worth nothing. It's functionally useless. Nobody will take it. The point of any currency is what is the value and power behind it? And that being the government. The United States government is incredibly powerful. And that's why U.S. dollars are taken everywhere, because the U.S. government has control over the international payment systems, the IMF, the World Bank, etc. So their dollar would be worth an extraordinary amount because it's basically backed by the entire global banking system. And that is pretty much the same for any currency. The problem is that the Zimbabwe government basically has no credibility in terms of value of currency because it's been so horribly trashed over what, 10 plus years or something like that? Something like that. Or, or since, since Mugabe came to power, it's 
been through complete and utter hell. Meaning the Zimbabwe government doesn't really have that faith and trust that other people would see in its currency. So it needs something else to take that spot. And that is going to be the gold that's backing its dollars. The gold in this case is fulfilling the role that faith and trust in the government would normally have, but it doesn't have because of its terrible economic situation and recent terrible economic history. Now, keep in mind that the United States economy is not the same thing as the Zimbabwe economy. They're not intended to do the same thing. Financially, these are two completely different things. The United States is supposed to expand its money supply at will, mostly through the buying of debt by China and secondarily by Japan in order to purchase, in order to use those currencies to facilitate importing. Now, that's not necessarily the same case with Zimbabwe. They're not trying to build a hegemonic monetary system. They're basically just trying to get theirs to function as a normal economy. So it doesn't have to do all the things that a normally a gold-backed currency would not be able to do. That's the point. This is a unique situation where a gold-backed currency would work. Now, I think it's questionable as to whether or not it's going to work in the long run. But for now, it will do the job that's required of it. It will give an inherent value to that currency that normally there would be the faith in the government that it would be taken as a form of payment and that there would be a competence to keep the value of that stable, which people don't have in the Zimbabwe money because of all the problems that it's been through. So to summarize, the fact that it's gold is not really significant in any way. This is not some major leap or some big rebuff to the global imperialist system. It's, it's something of basic necessity that they have to do because their current currency is basically non-functional. This isn't even something that they really even want to do. It's something that they basically have to do because of the economic difficulties that they have been facing. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.